hello wordpress nerds so in this video we are going to talk about update method of wpdv so we will be updating data into the table using wordpress way so in our previous video we talked about insert query using wpdv and in that we have created this custom table bwp and in that we added inserted a data so in this table i'm gonna add one more column so i will add age and i will insert some couple of data so let's add data So I have inserted some data and we will be updating this data using WPDB method. So uh, for that, um, I'm gonna add, uh, sorry, I'm gonna activate my custom plugin. So if you don't know uh, which custom plugin I am using, then i would suggest to go and watch this video first in that video i showed you my custom plugin so i'll be adding uh, code into that custom plugin so if we go to plugins let's check if my plugin is activated or not okay it's not activated so let's activate my custom plugin first and if you don't know how to create custom plugin i have provided link into the description section so this is my custom plugin and i will open my custom plugin file from this local repo so this is the file wpdb methods in which we created insert method in our previous video so first let me get rid of this we will be using same function to update but based on condition so when we get insert from the query string from the url it will insert the data similarly if we get query string about update we will update the data
so in this condition we will update the data let me bring this two things out of the condition so this is the global object of wpdb class here we are getting table name using this prefix and table name and now we will update the data so in order to update the data we have to use update method so let's use update method so dollar wpdb update now update accepts three arguments there are multiple arguments uh, apart from these three which are optional so we are not going to look into that in this video let's focus on these three arguments so first is the table name so we will pass this table name which table to update so that table name then another one is data in form of array so i'm gonna write array over here and which data you want to update so if you want to update multiple columns you have to pass that um, in the array in form of key value pair where key will be tables column name and value will be value so let's say i'm gonna update first name and my first name will be abc as of now i'm just going to update first name only and third argument is the where condition so from where you want to change the first name so i will change the first name whose age is 20 so again uh, this will be the array in form of key value argument key value pair sorry so i will pass age equal to 20 so this is how um update looks like so this will update the first name which is age is 20 so here this first entry uh, is bunty which is age 20 so this will be changed so let's try to access the page let me add message data updated now so now we got data updated let's try to refresh this and see if this name got changed or not so as you can see the name is changed now now i'm gonna change the name which is age is 30. let's refresh this page again and now this name should be changed 
now let's try to update multiple values so i'm gonna change first name to abc last name to xyz or z whatever you pronounce and which age is 20 and the last name is wp so here we are checking two conditions age should be 20 and last name should be wp so which is this only so this entries first name and last name will be changed so let's refresh this page again let's refresh this data and as you can see first name and last name got changed so this is how you can update your data using WPDB method in the WordPress and this is the video guys if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching the video guys